Okay, right, our first stop we flew into um, Vegas Airport and we're staying at the Circus Circus uh, Hotel and Casino. A bit tacky, to be honest with you. Not even tea making facilities, what can you do? Uh, we're all very tired, we've been up for about 25 hours, so we'll um, get our heads down now and head up to Furnace Creek tomorrow in Death Valley and uh, see what happens there. We've been upgraded on the on the higher car as well, which is quite nice. A uh, bit of a beast. Um, but yeah, not much else to say. We had a little walk down the strip, still as mental as ever. Um, and uh, that's it really, had a bite to eat. Not much to report, but uh, more to come tomorrow. Okay, Trinity and I are now in Death Valley. We're actually at Zabrathi Point. Now, we haven't actually been up there yet. Out there, chase all the clips, and we have our mind completely blown away, which is cool. Clear things with a sea clarity. Sea <laughs> clarity. <laughs> Don't always get that in Portsmouth, do you? <laughs> so it's the altitude. Of the <laughs> so we're very much impressed here, aren't we? Yes, this, this, very much. We found this, we forgot about the Sebraski Point. Spiritual boy. enlightenment. Exactly, exactly. We're going to try and find the salt plats. Like, salt plats? <laughs> salt <laughs> flats. It's the altitude. Uh, so, yeah, the altitude, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll try and find that in a minute, so uh, rock on. We are at the salt flats. Wow, look at it close up. That's crazy, isn't it? It's really cool. That's the amazing place to see salt flats and bare water. Here's Trinity and I, we're walking up. We're actually at the salt plains now. There's a sort of fashion shoot going on over there, which is a bit weird. Okay. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, this is the stuff part. What have we got? Where it all, it all ripples and bubbles like. Oh, yeah. Salty! <laughs> you just licked the salt? I did. I had a little sample. Yeah. That'd yeah. be alright with your bangers and mash, I think. I might scrape some up. I could mark it this at home. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. One piece salt pack, right? <laughs> Wish you could be here. It's actually. Can I use the word awe inspiring? Awe! Oh. Okay, we are at the, uh, where are we? The Furnace Creek Ranch Resort. Yeah, Furnace Creek Ranch Resort. Uh, we're just leaving here now, heading over to Zion National Park. Uh, went to the Salt Flats, which is very cool, wasn't it? Yep, in bad water. Yep, yeah, bucket list. Put on your bucket list. Ticked it off. Yep, yeah, ticked it off. Uh, we looked for a ghost town, which we couldn't find, but hopefully we'll find more at the Grand Canyon. Um, yeah. Our next stop is Zion National Park. We're heading out of Death Valley, going back down sort of towards Vegas and heading across. So join us for this amazing travel which I know you've been so entertained over and think, oh I wish I was there. And we still don't know what borax is and we might have seen a coyote. Yeah, don't know what borax is, it's about a borax but we don't know what it is but apparently that's what they used to mine around here, is that right? That's right. Yeah, so uh, join us for the next leg of our journey. David Bailey here. Work it, darling, work it. Work it, darling. <laughs> oh, I hope we find a mountain lion. Yeah, that'd be cool. We're at Zion National Park. We stopped and, oh my God, without going over the edge. And we're having a little walk around. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, as you can see. Proper sand. Proper sand. <laughs> You never believe it from sandstone. <sighs> it's nice to actually get down actually inside, isn't it? Yeah. Into the root, into the. I bet 
it in the winter, this is probably actually a working river. Okay, we found a tunnel. This is rather cool. I think I don't, this is not natural, obviously. You can tell by the way it's been carved out. But... Well, let me come out. Yeah, so the, the, road, the road's above us. Let me come out. Oh, we come out to where? Yeah, where we were looking down. Right, where, those people, where we saw the footprints. Where we saw the footprints. <laughs> the, uh... Where are we heading to now? Huh? Where are we heading to now? Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon. And then on to Lake Powell. Yep. And Monument Valley. And then Monument Valley. The, the, the Monument Valley. Monument Valley. Saw the sugar again this morning. Exactly. It's actually a bit chilly this morning when we came up. It was, uh, it's actually like November at home. It's warmed up very quickly. Yes. So we're going to hit the road and uh, come and join us. Trinity and I are going to walk up to uh, a viewpoint at the uh, Bryce Canyon and um, we saw it just coming up and it looked mental. And we're very high. Yeah, so we're going to walk up. I'm going to turn the camera around so you're going to see the same view as us as we walk up. Fuck me. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't know, obviously it might not be as appreciated on camera but that is just crazy. There's a natural bridge. Shit. <laughs> It's a 115 feet mental. I think the planes uh, fly at 35,000 feet. So let's go. This is the highest place, the last stop at Bryce Canyon. Wow. That's crazy. It's cold. Where are, where are we at? What's this place? Woman? This is Rainbow Bridge. Because right down Bryce there Canyon. is Rainbow Bridge. That's natural. That is huge, man. That's incredible. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. The sandstone's gorgeous in the sort of setting of sun. Hi, kids. Um, we're at the, where we are? The Marriott? Courtyard. Courtyard. Uh, very blustery outside, but very nice weather, isn't it? Yep. Unlike this morning. It was freezing cold this morning. We were scraping snow and, snow ice. and ice off the car, and it was thick. And it was snowing still. Yeah, we, we had no idea that it was going to happen. Blizzard. We weren't expecting to be doing that. Um, so I was quite there, because as everyone knows, I absolutely hate snow. So, um, yeah, it's nice to come down south. It's a bit, I say, warmer, but mm. it's a little bit more, a bit windy. So we're going to go down to um, uh, the Glen. Glen Cannon Dam. Glen Cannon Dam, very much like Uber Dam. Um, a bit smaller. Yeah. And then pop up into the shops up at Page. Yes. That sounds good. Page? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Page sounds good. In Lake Powell. In Lake Powell. Oh, yes, well, we are Lake Powell, Arizona. by the way. Yeah. Before we go on to uh, <laughs> Monument Valley tomorrow. Ooh, mm. The biggie. Well, no, Grand Canyon is probably the biggie. Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it, and we'll uh, speak to you later. We're now going to go and see Glen, Glen, Canyon. Whatever, Glen Canyon Dam. Let's rock off. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're hoping to get on a 3.30 um, tour, but the winds are up, so they don't know if it'll be cancelled or not. Yeah, we're actually walking on the bridge now, and we're going to get some nice shots of the dam, which is down there. Take a picture of you. Take a picture Take of, a of picture you. Of me. Hoover Dam, ha, we're going to go in the Glen Hoover Dam. As it comes down to the spring in the form of rivers, we'll store that water here. That's why we build dams. Uh, Lake Powell is just one part of a larger project called the Colorado River Storage Project. 
which brings water to about 25 million people in their homes and businesses in Arizona, Nevada, and Southern California. But the vast majority of the water stored here is used for agriculture. Looking over the edge of the dam. First of all, this is the deepest point in Lake Powell. If the water was full, we would be uh, 560 feet deep. Can you move it? Move it down. The other dam. The Glen Canyon. The Warren. Yeah. Um, there's actually a really good reason for this grass to be here. The pen stocks are underneath here and gravel to help support them because these pipes have a long way to go. Far end of the building, it's on the second floor there. It's that big orange structure. That is a bank of 48 electromagnets. Golding's Lodge at Monument Valley. A very, very nice place. Very cool in the Lenoa, obviously. And what's great, we've got a patio, which I'm going to show you now because the view is mental. So you go out here into the little patio, so I can have a fag, and we've got that as a view. That's pretty damn good. I like it in Monument Valley. What we're going to do in a minute is take a scenic tour. We thought, no, I'll leave the car here, pay for a tour, um, and take us all around all the um, Reservations, the Mittens, John Ford's Point, and uh, you'll see it on video. Wow! Got something to suck on. <laughs> That's right, I've got something to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be having some of that. <laughs> Sweets, that was. Yes. Or candy, actually. Candy. Did you just say you've got a draft coming I've in got somewhere? A draft coming up my back. We're going in a sweat lodge. Oh, it's lovely and warm. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> isn't that lovely? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, this is Bessie. She's going to do a demonstration for you. Show you how the card will show you the spinning and then the. No, what's this? She's in Zumpla. Oh, yeah, it's in. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to see me struggle, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> of coal mines and oil fields, small businesses. Navajo Nation is almost like an independent nation. But we still get help from the government, though. The health care. John Ford Point. And there, of course, is the famous shot that John Ford used to like to come and watch his movie be made. Okay, here we are at John Ford Point. John Ford's favourite, no, the director John Ford's, his favourite point when he was making films. That's the famous scene seen in many, 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 many movies. As a filmmaker, Okay, the next movie I shoot, it might be set in Bromley, okay, but there might be a shot needed of Monument Valley, so I'm going to get a plate shot of Monument Valley. Trinity stayed down the bottom because she's cold. Well, actually, we're all cold. It's not old, it's going to need to be a little warmer, but the, we're in a valley. Okay, that's a bridge behind me. Hey <laughs> Okay, as we leave Monument Valley, I want to show you this is the vista from my hotel room. Absolutely spectacular. So I'll 
wake up to the last night. So now we're going to head down to the Grand Canyon for two nights and down to Phoenix and uh, fly home. Been a bit of an epic trip, uh, very enjoyable, lots of driving, but that's the whole point of it really at the end of the day. So, uh, see you at the Grand Canyon. Let's head Canyon away, girl. Uh, let's head Canyon away. It's a what? Let's go ca Grand Canyon away. Oh, yes. Right, I know it's snowing, well it was snowing, it's actually a lovely day today. We're actually going to go to Mather Point, is it? Mather Point. Mather Point, mm, Grand Canyon. And then we're heading down to Route 66, we're actually booked into a hot another hotel, it's not on our itinerary, so. There it is, the Grand Canyon. What do you think? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Of course, I've of course, helicoptered over it, of course. I'm right over the edge. So Trinity is happy. I'm happy. We've seen the Grand Canyon. We didn't think we'd actually get up here. We didn't think it'd be actually a But big it was beautiful. And we, we've ticked that off the list, haven't we? Yep. And now we're going to head down to 66. So we've actually, say, booked into a new hotel. Um, down on Route 66, then down In to Flagstaff. Yeah, and then down to Phoenix, and we fly home on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Back to Sutton, back to Portsmouth. Mm. So, join us for the next leg of our journey. As I say, we didn't stay at um, Grand Canyon. We came down here. We just had a walk around um, uh, Flagstaff, historic Flagstaff. Had a, uh, a couple of drinks in the darkest bar I've ever been in, but very nice. Uh, tomorrow, we're hoping to head down to Sedona on our way down to uh, Phoenix. So uh, nearly over this journey, but it's been good fun. Bye.